So we're in a, a Tesla S. <laughs> yep. So who are you? Uh, my name is Sahas Kata, and uh, I'm the founder of Pepperdeck, and uh, I'm here to show off a little hack I made on the weekend. Yay! Mm -hmm. And you're uh, wearing Google Glass. Yes, I am. So the hack is uh, you built the yes. Tesla app, right? Correct. It's called Glass Tesla, and got up on the screen right here. And uh, it's an app for Google Glass that lets you control your Tesla Model S. Cool. And we're here with Rocky. What's up, Rocky? What's up, man? <laughs> and who are you? I'm Sandcat. I'm Sauce's brother. Yeah. I'm out right here. And we're going for a ride in Half Moon Bay because it's a stunning, beautiful day here. So you got to tell me where to go. I'm not too familiar uh, with the area. Let's go, go back to... out the gate. Sure. Yeah. Just don't hit my car. <laughs> Loser BMW car. <laughs> <laughs> go the other way. Other way. There you go. Yep. 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 And, uh,. Yeah, this is cool. You reach your destination. Your so what destination can... 25 Pinehurst Lane is on the <laughs> Yeah, not everybody knows where that is. Right. <laughs> peppered everywhere on the net. Not that you couldn't figure it out anyway. <laughs> um, and we got two GoPro cameras up on the hood, <laughs> so we'll see if we can get those shook off. <laughs> Which will cause us problems. Um, so what what does the glass app let you do? Uh, so it's got two aspects to it right now. Uh, one is viewing information and the other is actually interacting with the car. Yeah. So uh, the, I'll talk about the first part of it, which is uh, um, the viewing aspect. And do you want me to take a left or a yeah, right? Yeah, right, sorry. Right, okay. So viewing, um, one of the things EV owners uh, need to do is uh, see how much power is in their car. So naturally we let you see that. Um, we let you see how, how many miles of range you're gonna get, the percentage of battery in there, uh, how much longer until your car completes charging. Uh, the voltage and the amps of power going into your car at any moment. Yeah. Um, those are a couple of the neat things you can take a look at. Uh, you can also see where your car is on a map, which is pretty neat. So if you ever forget where to park, it shows you the address as well as a pinpoint on uh, the Google Maps. And uh, then as for uh, the car's um, actual uh, secure state, uh, will it be able to tell, like there's a graphic so you can actually see which door is open. Yeah. So either the trunk pops open in the graphic if it's open, and uh, same applies to the, each of the four doors and the front trunk as well. So that's a pretty uh, neat little uh, function you put in. And the last thing you can view right now is uh, climate. So you can actually view uh, the car's interior temperature at any given time as well as the exterior. Is there any way to control that? Yep, absolutely. So all these parts that I just mentioned in terms of view, viewable information are all fully controllable. So it's a little warm in the back. Could you uh, turn it up? And turn uh, so right now, uh, that's one of the restrictions that Tesla does. Um, uh, even if I were to send a command to this car while I'm driving, it, it's not gonna let me. There's only a couple things like the sunroof that would work. Okay. So um, uh, I can uh, give that a shot as well. Cool. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I'm connected, so I'll take a look real quick. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I'm connected, so I can give that a shot. So I can try the sunroof, for instance. See, rent sunroof. Okay, just press it. Should yep. press and we'll pull over in a little while. Yeah. Actually, let's uh, take a little drive and uh, then pull over. Up. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. And uh, let's pull over and then uh, you'll be able to yeah, demo absolutely. it a, a little bit better for me. But it's cool. Yeah. Thanks. Close that sunroof. All right, now we're now we're finally connected. Yeah, <laughs> back in Half Moon Bay. So yeah. what you're looking at over there is the lock screen or the start start screen of the app. Yeah. And uh, you can tap into it and uh, you get to your first card. And over here, you can actually see how much mileage you have on your battery at the moment. And uh, you'll also be able to see um, how much longer it will take to finish charging if you're plugged in, or how much voltage and speed that your car is charging at. Yep. And uh, if you swipe over, uh, you'll be able to, and I'm doing this all on my glass, and this is just reflecting it on the mirror on, the, on my phone. Yep. Uh, so as you can see, we're on a map right now, and uh, I think that should be pretty accurate. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly where we're parked right now. Yep, on Main Street. Yep. So uh, yep. if you forget where you park, you can just look at it right there. And uh, actually going back once on the charge card, when you are plugged in, you'll actually get a command on the screen here that lets you start and stop charging. Yep. And a lot of Tesla owners like having control of that, even if you own a Volt or any other electric vehicle, because uh, charging rates are much cheaper in the night than they are in the, uh, peak hours during the day. So you may want to stop charging at noon and then start charging again around, uh, I mean, maybe 11 or 12 p.m. Yeah. So you can just do that from Google OS. Um, you figured all, all this out just by looking around forums and figuring out what oh the yeah, Tesla... Absolutely. Well, I mean, it wasn't even, it was just really one, a couple of resources that were out there. And none of them, I don't think anyone had actually built an app for Tesla. This actually might be the first third party one. Uh, I mean, regardless of whether it's for glass or whatever it might be, I'm not sure if anyone has built an app for 
a third party app for Tesla. So yeah. that's uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> I, I, every time I mention I drive with my Google Glass yeah. on, uh, it, people give me crap. <laughs> what, what do you think about that? Um, so, uh, so right now we happen to be in a high tech car, so I would actually prefer to use all the stuff here. But um, I generally do, this is not my car, I generally do drive a very old Lexus from about 10, 15 years ago. So uh, for that, um, in the past, even though you're not supposed to, uh, at some point you do end up having to fiddle with your phone just to figure out where you need to go or something of that nature. But with Glass, I mean, uh, when I'm using it for navigation, uh, it just it, it's passive, so it's quiet, it turns off, and then as you're approaching a turn, the screen turns on, it gives you some sound and tells you what to do. So I find that a lot less distracting since you don't need to take your hands off the wheel and uh, you don't need to... Um, look anywhere else, your head's still on the road, you can just glance up slightly for a split second until um, you're done interacting with it. I, I totally agree. I think it's far safer than looking down at this beautiful screen, by the way. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, right. now your eyes are down yeah, here, exactly, not, yeah. not looking forward. And at forward. least this car is pretty neat. Um, it, actually, this entire uh, panel right behind the steering wheel is not an actual physical panel. It's also a full screen as well. Yeah. So uh, um, actually, a couple of things that will appear on it is uh, you get your navigation appears right here when you're getting a route. Uh, your electricity, your what music's playing, so you can customize all that right here to reflect what's going on right here. So uh, you don't actually even need to look down here, which is kind of crazy, but um, that's possible as well. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. How how are you gonna, are you gonna make any money with this app, or are you just uh, so uh, I mean uh, after I realized, I think in the last, uh, I think it's been less than 24 hours, maybe about uh, 15 or something hours since I launched the app. Uh, the last I checked before I headed out here, I think there were about a little over 35,000 people that visited the website. And I think there were close to 700 people who signed up uh, with their Google account. Yeah. And uh, But last I checked, I think there were 23 people who have actually successfully linked both a Tesla and a Google Ass. So uh, my, my current user base is probably about 22 right now. <laughs> no, so. that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I, I heard Vic and Dutch is one of them, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's a <laughs> VP of uh, social at Google in charge of the whole Google Plus project. So yeah. he left a comment, and he was seemed pretty excited. So I was pretty excited to see him using it. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's cool. You know, there's only 3,000 glass uh, owners out there. Yeah, is that all like, they've delivered so far? Yeah, 3,000, 4,000, yeah, yeah. maybe. And Tesla's at probably about 5,000 or more than 5,000 Model S has delivered so far. So... I mean, in the valley, I'm sure there's a decent overlap. <laughs> yeah, and I'm seeing a lot more of uh, Tesla. So it's, yeah, it's a beautiful car. I I want one. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I just can't afford one for two more, uh, two or three more years until <laughs> yeah. my uh, car payments. And, and they're having a much more affordable price range that they're Elon Musk is talking about that car that's um, possibly as low as thirty thousand dollars. So yeah. that should be pretty neat. No, very cool. Where do I learn more about your glass at? Uh, just go to glasstesla.com and I can actually bring it up right here on the car. So if you choose uh, right there, it should be loading. Yep. So that's actually the website right there, glasstesla.com. And uh, I think the browser may have, okay, I don't know what's going on right there. Yeah. You can uh, see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Well, very cool. Thanks so much for uh, yeah, showing it to me. Here. Did yeah. you want to see any of the commands? or? Um, I'll play with it when I'm yeah. back home. Sure, okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> awesome.